You need to use this free tool right now to optimize Windows 10 and even Windows 11 for ultimate gaming and performance with optimal settings and tweaks. This will work for any low, mid or high end PC and you can also expect a boost in FPS and a much smoother Windows experience at the end of the video. So let's get into it. But quickly guys if you want zero ping in any game that you play then check out the gear up booster from the link in the description as it provides you with the optimal network routes giving you zero ping and packet loss in every game. So go down into the description and download the gear up booster now and now let's get back into the video so as all of you guys can see this is a fresh windows 10 install and it comes with a lot of bloatware as you can see right on the taskbar but this is just the tip of the iceberg therefore we are going to be going ahead and removing a lot of that bloatware as well as optimizing the windows services and the hidden settings within the windows itself so the first thing that you want to do is go down into the description of this video and open up my website once there go ahead and click on the red download button to download the optimizer 15.8 once you have it downloaded, just put it on your desktop and right click to run it as administrator. So now that the optimizer has opened up, we're gonna be going ahead and starting from the general tab. Now for each of the settings, if you don't know what they do, you can go ahead and click on them and it will open up this little dialog box and it shows you exactly what they are doing. Then go ahead and hit OK and then just follow along with me to change the settings that you need and leave the settings that might prove harmful for your PC. So starting off, go ahead and optimize the performance. Do the same thing for the optimizer network. However, keep in mind that this may cause increases in ping sometime so if it does happen then just go ahead and come back to the program and disable it disable the error reporting disable compatibility assistant as well as print fax sticky notes and smart screen most of these are pretty self-explanatory but if you are printing something or using fax which i don't know why then of course you will need to go ahead and enable these services as for the disk drives i would not recommend disabling the system restore point because it can prove useful in many situations as for the disable super fetch if you have a really low end pc then i would not recommend disabling it However, if you have a normal mid or high end PC, then you can go ahead and disable the super fetch. Then go ahead and do the same thing for the disable hibernation. This one is highly recommended. And as for the disable NTFS timestamp, I would just go ahead and leave it. As you can see that disabling it can reduce the input output operations on this, but that is not the case every time. So I would just go ahead and leave it as is. And as for the disable search, of course you want to disable it. This will not completely disable all of the search features, but just the search service. As for the apps, you want to go ahead and disable office telemetry. Same thing with Mozilla, Google, Nvidia and the Visual Studio if you have that installed. As for the privacy, go ahead and disable telemetry tasks, disable media player sharing. If you are in a work environment where your PC is connected to home groups, then probably just leave this one, otherwise I would just go ahead and disable it. As for the SMB v1 and v2 protocols, if you click on it, it shows you that they used to work but now they have been replaced by the SMB v3. So all you need to do is just go ahead and disable both of these as well. Then we move on to the Windows 10 specific settings. Now for this one, there are a lot of things that you want to do. The first one is disable my people. Just uh, leave this one. It's really personal preference. Enable long parts. Yes. Disable TPM check. Yes. If you click on it, it shows you that it bypasses the secure boot and TPM 2.0 requirement, allowing you to upgrade to Windows 11, uh, which if you want to, you can, but I would just still keep it disabled in case I want to upgrade in the future. All this does is just import a single piece of registry. That's all. Uh, disable sensor services. Yes. Then remove cost to device, yes, enable classic volume mixer, I would just leave it as is and restore the classic photo viewer, of course yes, I want the classic photo viewer. Then moving on to the privacy settings and inside of here, just go ahead and use all of these, so go ahead, click on them one by one and they should be like this. As for the gaming, once again, enable game mode, disable Xbox Live and disable the game bar. For the touch, you want to go ahead and disable everything once again unless you are using a touch display. Now for the Windows update, it's a little bit interesting, so what you want to do is go ahead and and disable the Microsoft Store updates, disable insider service and exclude the drivers from the updates however you want to enable the automatic updates and the reason we are going to be going ahead and doing that is because we want to go ahead and update your windows first and then come back here and then disable the automatic updates. So simply just go down to your start menu, go into your settings and then go to the update and security. Inside of here just go ahead and check your updates and install them if you want. So go ahead and install those updates and then come back here and then disable the automatic updates. As for the UWP apps, so these are all of the apps that are installed on your PC right now and all you can do is just select them one by one or 
even just a bunch of them and then uninstall them so for example i'm gonna go ahead and uninstall the bing weather the spotify microsoft skype microsoft windows maps windows alarms OneNote, zoom music mixed reality portal so basically i'm gonna go ahead and select all of those click on uninstall hit yes and you get the idea it's going to go ahead and remove all of those apps that i have just selected and of course you can always go ahead and revert this by clicking on restore all of the uwp apps which i really wouldn't recommend i would just recommend going ahead and removing as many of the unwanted apps as you can then moving on to the startup once again it's pretty self-explanatory but i'm gonna run you through once again uh, so all you need to do is select the ones that you want to remove from the startup or loading up with your windows for example i'm gonna go ahead and select the adobe services google chrome updates just keep in mind that you don't want to remove anything that may need to start up for your games for example valorant needs the riot vanguard to start up with windows so that is the reason why i'm gonna go ahead and keep it as is and once you have selected the ones that you want all you need to do is click on delete hit yes and then it's going to go ahead and remove all of those from the registry as for the network there are two things that i want you to do the first one is flash the dns cache and it's going to tell you that your internet may disconnect momentarily but it's completely normal i'm gonna go ahead and hit no right now but you can go ahead and hit yes and that will be fine so the next thing that you want to do is click on the open network connections and inside of here right click on your internet connection hit properties once this opens up click on configure and inside of here go into the power management make sure that all of these are unchecked hit ok and now you can close out of this this is going to make sure that all of the power saving features on your uh, network are turned off giving you slightly lower ping and an improvement in overall network then what you want to do is click on this little finger right here and for the domain name what i want you to do is type in 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1 and then click on ping this is going to go ahead and ping the uh, cloudflare dns and it will show you the average latency that you have for that so it's going to go ahead and ping it nine times and the average ping for this dns was 60 for me and the next one that we want to do is ping the google dns so remove this click on 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and ping it once more and now this one is going to go ahead and ping the google dns and show us the average latency that we're going to be going ahead and getting this is roughly equal to the ping that we will be getting within the games by using these dns so for me the average here is 75 therefore for me clearly the cloudflare dns is the best one so now what i want to do is click on dns open up the network connections once more right click on it click on properties and inside of here i want to go ahead and open up the internet protocol version 4 and use the following dns server address now for the preferred one i want to use the 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1 .1 as this is the one that gave me the least ping as for the alternate one i want to use the 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8. So if this one gave you the least average ping, then go ahead and put it in the first box and the first one in the second. Otherwise, just go ahead and copy me. Then go ahead and click on OK. Hit OK once again. And now you can close out of this. As for the host, just go ahead and completely skip this one. Same thing for the registry. I don't really want you to go ahead and change anything from here. For the hardware, it's just going to go ahead and give you all of the information related to all of your hardware devices. Integrator, nothing here. This is just the customizability options for the optimizers, which you can just go ahead and skip. So right here, it says that restart and apply changes just go ahead and restart your pc now that everything is done here go and change this one setting to completely optimize your windows for ultimate gaming and performance